My name is Dottie, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer in October of 2013. My name is Beth Justice, and I was diagnosed April 1st, 2009 with colon rectal cancer. My name is Penelope Trammell, and in January of 2011, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. My name is Sheila Evans, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer in September 2010. Hearing the words, you have cancer, will turn your life upside down. It will change your relationships with your family, your friends, with everyone around you. It will even make you rethink who you are. It really does change everything, every decision, every aspect of your life. There's a before cancer and an after cancer. I was 45. No one in my family had had cancer. Uh, I didn't even know if my diagnosis was accurate. The goal of Women of Hope is to provide support for women who have been touched by cancer. My name is LaVonda Howard, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer in February 2009. She called me and said, oh, we can get you in on Monday. So I went on Monday, and sure enough, he said, you might want to take the day off, because I don't want to have to call you until you have breast cancer. My name is Danette Ball. In August of 2005, I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. My mom just kind of took over at that point. She said, well, you absolutely, you're going to fight it. Absolutely, you're going to go to this doctor's appointment. And when is it? I'm, I'm, let me know. I'm going to go with you. And at that point, I knew I was going to be OK. Cancer plays no favorites. It doesn't discriminate based on age or life circumstances. Because I went from mom takes care of everything, mom does it all, to mom needs it. Cancer touches everyone in different ways and it can be most challenging to those who are accustomed to being caregivers. You know, my husband has no idea what I do from eight to five outside of my job, how many permission slips I'm signing, the lunchbox I'm making, you know, games the kids like to play, who can pick my kids up from school. No one should have to face cancer alone. And that's why I'm so grateful for Women of Hope, because it gave me sisters and that yeah. female <laughs> yeah. companionship that we all needed. Women of Hope is there for women, filling their emotional needs, creating support groups, and providing counseling, education, and a network of services. You know, don't allow yourself to get stuck in the diagnosis because you have cancer, but cancer doesn't have to have you. There's always hope. And if you have hope, that's everything. Women of Hope helps cancer patients and survivors understand that they are not the disease. They are a whole person. We're here to provide friendship, connections, and referral services that women will not find anywhere else. Join us. Women of Hope needs your support. I am a woman of hope. I am a woman of hope. I am a woman of hope. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am a woman of hope.